this time, I will call the January 16th, 2014, the meeting of the Lee County School Board to order. The first item of business is the election of the chair. Do I hear a motion for chair? Um, I'd like to nominate Mr. Harbor for uh, chair for the 2014 school year. I have a motion. Do I hear a second? I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries, Mr. Carter. Thank you, Mr. Carter. Uh, I'll entertain a, a motion for vice chairman. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that Mr. Chad will be vice chairman. I have a motion for Mr. Chad. Was there a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Yeah, was the last chair. I'll entertain a date and time of our regular scheduled meeting. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we keep the time and the dates as they currently are. About a second to that. Second. Have a motion second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 So we'll keep it the second Tuesday of the month. Um, Mr. Carter, do you have any um, recommendation for the clerk? Mr. Chairman, I recommend that Alicia Fields uh, remain as clerk for the 2014 school year. I have a motion as such. So moved. have a motion. A second? Second. A motion, second. Any discussion? And motion will carry. Uh, uh, have a vote, please. No, I'm first say aye. 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 <coughs> Motion will carry. Debbie Clerks. Mr. Chairman, I would recommend that Kathy Bergen and Denise Lambert serve as Deputy Clerks for the 2014 school year. I have a motion to that. I like that motion. We have a motion and a second. Second. The motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Signatures in the superintendent's absence. Mr. Chairman, I would recommend that. Um, Dr. Gary McCann, Dr. Wendelina Adams continue to sign in the absence of the superintendent. I have a motion. On man. So moved. Have a motion of a second. Second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. That motion carries. Uh, I would uh, like to um, have Mr. Chavel and Mr. Twig to continue as members of the budget committee since they were there last year. Uh, I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. The Roberts Rules of Order is in your packet to have a motion to. I'll go for those. I'll make that motion. I have a second. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. That passes. Going to have a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Got a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh, the agenda is approved. Can I have a motion to approve the, meeting, the uh, minutes of the December 19, 2013 board meeting? Motion. You have a second? I'll second. You have a motion to say any discussion? <clears throat> All in favor say aye. Uh, uh, those minutes are approved. Mr. Carter, you have anybody to recognize no. at this time? We come to the public expression part of our agenda. Does anybody wish to <clears throat> come in front of the board at this time? Yes. 
Um, good evening. I just have a brief update on our security grants. We now have five schools who have completed their projects, and um, we still have four in progress uh, Flatwoods, St. Charles, Thomas Walker, and Dryden. Still have a little bit of work going on. So they should be completed within the next four to six weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Clark. Enrollment report as of the end of December, we had 3,206 students enrolled. That's up five from this period last month and up 18 from this same period last year. Are we not recognizing the highest percentage no, attendance? No well, you know what? Actually, I think we. Since uh, it's, a, or, or, or do we not recognize that. the same ones, right? Well, it, it, I'm glad you called that to your attention, but we can look real quick and recognize those schools. Uh, John, entered the. Uh, see, now there was one more besides. Uh, we only had school four days. John, you're here. Looks like uh, St. Charles. St. Charles. Uh, no, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, it's entered into the. They're number three. No, actually, we're going to have. Uh, looks like. Uh, Ely Dale, Ely Dale's 95.7. Yeah. Elydale's 95.7. 7. And then Jones was 95.54. Okay, so 95.27. Uh, the first place would be uh, Elydale at 95.70. And second place is St. Charles 95.27. Sorry about that. We left that off. Jonesville is 95.54. And Jonesville is 95.54. Okay. Now time for our financial report. Mr. Carter, Lambert. This is a summary of our financial activity for the month of December. We had state revenue totaling $1,828,402.90. Federal revenue and reimbursements totaled $118,648.23. Insurance receipts were $683.36. Our revenues for the month totaled $1,947,734.49. Uh, year to date, we've received $14,450,452.90. As of the end of December, we have received 37.15% of our estimated revenues for the year, and at the same time last year, we have received 39.82%. Our expenditures for the month of December, our general fund payroll and accounts payable total $2,858,169.60. Total one payroll and accounts payable totaled $134,557.76. Head Start payroll was $87,049.90. And insurance payments totaled $300,878.40. Our expenditures for the month totaled $3,380,655.66. And year to date have totaled 14 million $108,776.31. As of December 31st, we had used 36% of our appropriations for the year, and at the same time last year, we had used 35.5%. Any questions? Lord, any comments? Thank On our action agenda items, um, we need a uh, 
approval of date, time, and place for a public hearing for 2014-2015 budget intro. Mr. Carter. As required by the Code of Virginia, we need to schedule a hearing for uh, public input on our budget for the 2014-15 school year. And we usually do that prior to our February meeting, uh, beginning at 6.30 uh, prior to the, to the meeting, which will be on February the 11th at 6.30. Recommend that. Okay. Any discussion? I have a motion to meet for that hearing at 6 30 on the February 11th here. So moved. I have a motion of a second. Second. I have a motion of a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Consider the Approval of revisions for the 2013-2014 school calendar. The snow days, Mr. Carter. Today we've had one snow, uh, one day that we've actually we're on a two-hour delay and we've missed five full days. In the current calendar, we have March 13th and 14th built in as snow days in March, as well as uh, April the 14th, 15th, and 16th. Uh, for the uh, week that's usually uh, designated as spring break that's taken at, at Easter time. Of course, the 17th and 18th are built in to definitely be taken off, but those are five snow days that are actually built into the calendar. And um, certainly at, at this point in time, being that we've missed five days, those two days in March, I would certainly recommend that those two days um, be used for what they were built in for, and that is to, to make up at least two of those days. And of course, um, the board can discuss or decide what they want to do on the uh, three days that's during the week of the uh, spring break or, or Easter break. <clears throat> Any thought to use on the 17th as a, uh, a makeup day? 17th is a, a professional development day that's built in the calendar and that's certainly possible, yes. Discussion? Uh I have a feeling on it that we better make these days up as quick as we can. We're just now getting the bad weather for the year. And I would make a motion that we immediately uh, take the 17th and uh, that we take the two makeup days and that we take the first two days a week there. Just do even three days a week. Great, sir. Okay. The first two days in the yeah, Easter week. week. My motion is to make the five days up in the first five if we can. Okay. We have a motion on the floor to make the five days that we've already missed on the 17th of February, the 13th and 14th of March, and the 14th and 15th of April. In discussion, or if not, uh, have a second. I'll second. Have a motion and a second. On fair, say aye. 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 Okay. Is that good? One. Two. Good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Is you taking one away? One. Uh, Yes, uh, she's not here. I'll uh, ask that the board consider the approval of the revised policy for uh, non-discrimination. And actually, it's the only revisions that's made is their new E911 address and the names uh, inside the policy. The policy itself had not changed. We've just updated the dates or the, the uh, address and the names. And the starting needs this updated before we go through a federal review for our uh, cafeterias. Make a motion. Have a motion to second. Second. Have a motion to second. I'll put a Those revisions are approved. Ms. Dory, school count. Actually, I don't have anything new other than the ones I submitted last time to five calendars. Uh, and after that input, uh, I've had several teachers acquire on that calendar course, except uh, number was received. 
about moving uh, that spring up till April instead of the March. Uh, and we can revisit this and I don't mind redoing the top two or, or whatever the board wishes to send those back out if you'd like to revisit those or. Uh, Mr. Chair. Mm -hmm. uh, on calendar four, Ms. Darty, according to my counting, and I attempted to do that several times, in May, it's got 20 days, but I only count 19 days. So the total calendar would only have 179 days. And I had talked to Doris Miles about that and uh, said that the 180 was not required that it can go to, to hours. Well, that's, that was we, another thing I was wondering about also. We had discussed that. So calendar number four does have the, the hours that's uh, required. Yes. And I would be willing, as I say, uh, the board would like to take the top two or, or whatever you'd like them to do for that and send those back out. Any revisions? Also, in, in November, um, Which calendar, Mr. on the calendar four, I guess on all those calendars, but it's especially calendar four, the one we're looking at. I've had several um, teachers and talk to me over the last little bit about having the um, third off and having the professional development on the fourth and I realize that we do vote in some of the schools but if we did a teacher work day you know like I mentioned last meeting about them working on their own um, benchmark tests and stuff like that that would be a good day to do that and they could all meet at Lee High School or Thomas Walker or whatever schools that do not host um, the elections have one of those there. So, is that something we can look into? It certainly is. If that's talking about actually having the third off. Yeah, and that way they have a three day weekend right. instead of coming back on Monday and then having the. And doing professional development on election day. Correct. So, am I hearing that we, we like calendar four but with some revisions? Is that yeah. one? Yeah, I mean, okay. I think that would. Please, most of them. Okay. Good. Is that the only revision? Anybody, anybody else? Uh, I think we're looking at calendar four with revisions. Uh, if we can do that, we'll go ahead and, and vote on it tonight. So can I get a motion to approve the uh, calendar number four with revisions that we've indicated? I'll make a motion. Okay. You have a motion and a second. I'll second that motion. You have a motion and a second. All in favor of uh, calendar four with revisions indicated tonight, say aye. No. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Chairman, I have seen. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Hobbs. Thank you, Congress. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Uh, I believe in your package you will find a copy of a draft resolution as well as a draft quick claim deed of gift. Uh, this encompasses one additional parcel of property, approximately six acres total, uh, located at the former Ewing Elementary School. This is a piece of land that actually houses the bulk of the, uh, the, the school building there, and some additional title work turned up this deed from 1907 into the public school trustees of the Rose Hill District in Lee County, Virginia. That's a predecessor in interest to this school board. And so this school board still maintains title of that property. Uh, the proposed resolution would deem it to be surplus property and in, accord in accordance with that resolution if enacted by the board, the quick claim deed of gift would uh, convey any interest this board has in that property over to the Lee County Board of Supervisors. I believe the, court, uh, the board, if it wishes, uh, can deal with this in just one motion to approve both the resolution and the quick claim 
And uh, if that motion is made and carries, then I will need to get the signatures of Mr. Harbor uh, and Alicia after the meeting tonight. Are there any questions? So this would relieve us of any responsibility for that property? That's, that's correct. That's correct. And this is the last uh, piece of the puzzle, if you will, with respect to the, uh, the, the schools that have been closed. I have a motion to approve this resolution. I have a motion to have a motion and a second. Second. Have a motion to say on fair say aye. 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 Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Thank you. Mr. Carter, I notice we have field trip after field trip. Yes, we have five field trip requests, uh, five overnight field trip requests, of course. Um, First one is from the Gifted and Talented program for students to participate in the math competition at VMI in Lexington, Virginia. We have a request from Mr. Harding for the Virginia Tech Honors Band uh, for January 24th through the 26th in Blacksburg. We have a request uh, again from Mr. Harding for the students to participate in the District 7 Honor Band on January 31st, March, uh, February 1st and a request from Carrie Belcher uh, for students to participate in the Senior High All District course event and all Virginia course auditions in Hillsville on February the 7th and 8th. There are alternative snow dates for that request on February the 14th through the 15th. Uh, Jonesville and Pennington Middle School have requested the uh, uh, set uh, field trip on the for, for the 17th annual Virginia Tech Honors Band weekend on Friday uh, January the 24th to Sunday uh, January the 26th. Any discussion on any of these proposed trips? Other than the, the math trip or any of them in the weekday? Uh, so we're on Friday, and actually, to be honest with you, I'm not sure about the, I'm not sure about all of them. Well, some of them had listed that they were yeah. leaving on a Friday. Uh, not Mr. Harding, I think they're leaving on Friday. Uh, I think I'm most, of, most of them are, are on Friday. On Friday. I have a motion to approve these field trips as presented. Make a motion. I have a motion and a second. Second. I have a motion to say on fair say aye. Aye. Those are approved. <clears throat> Need a motion to pay the bills. I make a motion to pay the bills. I have a motion and a second. Second. I have a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Mr. Twig, all um, yours. Okay, um, just a couple of things. Um, several um, teachers I've been talking to have, you know, they've heard rumors about the the eighth graders moving to Lee High School and the fifth grade going to the middle schools and stuff like that. And um, I just kind of like to nip this in the bud. And you know, I, I know it, I don't think it's ever been discussed by this board, and I don't, you know, think it's going to happen. I mean. But I just, um, I don't think it's a good idea, either one of them. But um, I just want to bring that up and uh, maybe if we can even bring it to a vote or whatever, that's up to your choice, of course, um, to, like I said, nip that in the bud and get it out of the community and get it, you know, uh, make sure that everybody understands what we're going to be doing. And also, I think that we need to, and I, talk, I mentioned this before, develop a, a, a liaison between the, the faculty, the teachers and the administrative staffs of the mother schools and the central office. And I think a lot of time these rumors get started and then they just, you know, get on like a roller coaster ride and, you know, just keep snowballing or whatever. And I just think we, it would be nice that maybe this year we could develop a liaison committee, like I said, between have each school have a faculty representative and maybe meet up here once a month with uh, the um, directors and so forth and and discuss things like this and so we don't have to 
bring up so-called rumors. Okay? That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Twitter. Jesse. Um, just other than your report that was in the paper about uh, the weather condition, uh, any other comments that you would want to make about how the buildings survived the polar vortex? Well, actually, uh, our, our school system fired very well, I think, during the uh, recent polar vortex. So we did have uh, actually none of our main buildings in the in the system were affected. We did have some outbuildings at, at several of the schools that uh, had some problems with frozen pipes. Uh, the agricultural building at Dryden uh, had an issue with some frozen pipes. Um, the uh, greenhouse at the vocational school uh, experienced some frozen pipes. The field house at um, Lee High School. Uh, even Dale Elementary had a mobile unit out back that had some frozen pipes. Uh, Thomas Walker High School at the concession stand up on the hill had some frozen pipes, and uh, St. Charles had an outbuilding uh, that had some frozen pipes. Uh, but, but I think we fired exceptionally well. Uh, obviously, the uh, auditorium at Lee High is in shape enough to host the uh, spelling bee. Is yeah. there anything else, any other work that needs to be that you're aware of? Yes. Um, as, I, as I reported to the board last month, we are, uh, you know, probably 95 to 98 percent complete. The only two things that I'm aware of that we um, lack in getting the auditorium completely renovated is the carpet uh, needs to be replaced and that's going to be replaced next week. We are looking for someone to uh, re-sand the floors on the stage and to refinish those floors and as soon as that's com uh, completed uh, we will be finished with it. So that's the only two items that I'm aware of that we need to complete the renovation. Well I was just thinking that once it is finished we might want to schedule one of our meetings and see the new auditorium. Actually tonight's the first, the spelling bee's being held there and this is actually the first event that's being held in the uh, auditorium since the renovations and uh, I, certainly as I told you last month it's I think a certainly a beautiful facility is going to certainly have state-of-the-art equipment in it and would encourage you again if you get an opportunity to to stop by over there and ask Miss Warner to take you on a tour of it. It's a very, very nice facility. And the other thing is, I'd just like to say I am in agreement with what Mr. Twig suggested about the, uh, the liaison committee. We used to have a communications committee, then it was changed to the advisory committee or vice versa, one of the two, I don't remember. I had to go back and look at my notes on that, which was which. And I am really wondering how we are justifying that we do have a two-way method of communications without having that? Well, we have our building administrators that we have in each month after our board meetings and um, uh, well, they, but that's an intermediary. Well, I, I, don't, I don't see that mm -hmm. as a, a two-way well, and we can disagree on that. But, you know, that's that's, that's no problem have to have the form of liaison. I mean, we certainly don't mind to do that. Uh, communications committee, advisory committee, whatever you want to call it. That's, that's all I have. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I'm just going to follow up on what Mr. Twig said to begin with. That we, used to, we have had in the past certain minutes of advisory committees uh, at different times. Um, I think one of the problems with that was they had problems figuring out who was supposed to serve on that. And, um, and they're all in many areas as far as that goes. So uh, that's something we can look at. And they can meet after the board meetings and after the press meetings. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, I got a couple of things I'd like to mention. A couple of them negative. I hate to say this, but I think we'd be very embarrassed, or some teachers would, if we took some of the exams and looked at them that were given this past time. Um, I don't know where it's back that we were a little late getting this in. But I really think a whole lot of this is fact that a lot of our teachers don't know how to give exams. And I hate to say this, but I had one teacher who told me that she didn't have anything to give on exam. And uh, I didn't think that spoke too well of, of her exam program. And uh, 
I'd like to see us see if we could correct this a little bit. And uh, uh, I'm certainly still believe that some people would be embarrassed if we got the exam out that they were given at uh, the end. But I think the exam is a necessary thing. I think it's a good thing. And if our kids don't learn how to take exams now, they're sure not going to have a lot of trouble when they get to college because they're going to take exams. Uh, I would like to echo all of them. Thing. I'm all for the liaison. I always thought that the biggest problem that we have anywhere or anytime is the fact that we don't communicate well. And anything to help that uh, would be fine. And that's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Uh, I too would like to make that uh, unanimous as far as the um, uh, rumors that fly and the uh, false messages that are gotten out. And, Mr. Court, if you might uh, maybe instigate a little bit of, um, of getting a representative from each school to uh, voice the concerns of their their teachers, as long as it doesn't turn into a gripe session, I think that will be, uh, uh, be a good thing. We might kind of evaluate that later on, but uh, I, I really believe you can have too much communication, but I do believe you need some. So uh, I, I echo those concerns of of the other board members. Anybody else got anything in line with that? If not, could I have someone read us into executive session, please? Mr. Chair, make a motion to go to executive session to consider consultation with legal counsel, section 2.2-3711A7, and personnel section 2.2-3711A1 of the Code of Virginia. Do you have a second? I second. Have a motion to second. On the first, aye. Aye. We will convene in the second session.